Hi everyone, today's lesson is going to be about division. I know we've done division in the past, today we're going to be looking at long division or dividing by a two digit number for example. So the success criteria today, I can complete a coin card. That is the method we're going to be using today, the coin card method. There are many other different methods or strategies to do division. We're going to look at the coin card method today. Okay. So we will also be using the coin card to find a total and I'll explain that later on. We'll understand the links between multiplication and division and we will be able to solve some long division problems hopefully by the end of the lesson. So the first thing we need to think about is a coin card. If you're not sure what a coin card is, I have posted another video about how to do coin cards so it might be a good idea to start there if you're not sure and then come back to this lesson. So a coin card looks a little bit like this. We've got all the coins that we use down the side. I would recommend if you are doing it on a whiteboard or a piece of paper to draw it out nice and big so that you've got lots of space to do um, the work inside. If you do it too small, sometimes the numbers can get a little bit jumbled, so nice and big laid out. So first example, let's imagine we've got 1170 divided by 45. To work this out, we're going to use 45 as sort of the part of the answer. If I use my knowledge of multiplication and division, I know the answer to the sum is going to be the same as 45 times something equals 1170. So we're going to try and work out that something by using 45 in the coin card. So the first thing that I'm going to do is complete a coin card for 45. So for the 1, I've got 45. Times it by 10 gives me 450. Times it by 100 gives me 4500. To find the 2, we double the 1, which is 90. To find 20, we times the 2 by 10, which is 900. To find the 5, we have the 10. Oh, sorry. Um, to find the 200, we times by uh, 100, so it's 9000. To find the 5, we have the 10, so that's 225. And to find the 50, we times the 5 by 10, which is 2,250. If you don't understand that, like I said, go back and watch the video on the coin card, um, first of all, and then come back to this um, lesson. So now that I've completed my coin card, what I'm going to do is a little bit like when we play countdown, we're going to try and use these numbers to make 1,170. Different to countdown, we can use the numbers as many times as we like, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is look for the biggest number that I can use without going past 1170. So I can see there that 900, the 20, um, is the biggest number I'm going to start with. So I'm going to put that in a chimney sum at the side. I'm going to add on another number to try and get that target of 1170. So I'm going to add on the 225. You'll see that I've circled the 5 and the 20 at the side just to remind me what, what numbers I've used. So I've put 900 and 225 into a chimney sum. I'm going to add those up. I get 1,125. So I'm still a little bit away of that, from that target of 1,170. So I'm going to add on the 45, the 1. So I've circled that at the top. When I add those together, I get 1,170. So I'm bang on my target. So to find the answer, I see that I've used the 20, the 5 and the 1, where I've put the stars at the side. So if I add up 20, add 5, add 1, I get 26. So 26 is my answer. So 1170 divided by 45 is 26, or 45 times 26 is 1170. Okay, let's have another wee look at another example. Here we have 1554 divided by 42. So similar to last time, I'm going to set out a nice big coin card for 42. Okay, so I fill in the 1, 10 and 100 first, so I've got 42, 420 and 4,200. If you want to pause the video here and work it out yourself, that's absolutely fine, or if you're happy just to listen along at the moment, that's also fine as well. Then I double the 2, I uh, double the 1 to find the 2, so I get 84, and I can, I can then times that by 10 to get the 20, and 100 to get the 200, so my answers are there. I have the 10 to find 5, so I get 210, and then I can times 210 by 10, 
to get the 50. So my answers for my coin card are there. So now I'm going to use these numbers to make 1,554. So the biggest number I can start off with there is the 840 and I'm going to add it to the 420 and I've circled those two options just to remind me what ones I'm using. The total makes 1,260 so I'm a wee bit off so I'm going to add in another number. I'm going to add in the 5 this time and I get 1,470 so I'm still a wee bit short so I can maybe add in another number. So I'm going to add in the 1 there, the, the 42. Still a bit short, coming out at 1,512. So if I add on another 42, this time I make my target of 1,550. So now I look at the side of the coin card. I've used 20, 10, 5, and I've used the 1 twice. So if I add up 20, 10, 5, 1, and 1, I get 37, which is my answer. What I've got for you now guys is three examples to work through, um, so they are on the board now so you'll need to pause the video here and work it through. Please take your time, coin cards can be very tricky, that is where a lot of common mistakes come up if we've doubled them correctly or halved them correctly so please double check that and then take your time, sort of plain countdown to work out the, the sums. Pause the video here and we'll get the answers in a wee second. Awesome, let's have a wee look at the first one to go over together then. So I needed to make a coin card for 44 for the first one. So I've got the answer to that coin card there. Then I need to try and make the target number of 2860. So I'm going to add the 2200, 440. I realised I was still a wee bit short so I added in another 220 which got me on my target. So add up 50 and 10 and 5 at the side to get my answer of 65 for the first one. The second one I needed to make a coin card for 58 so there is a coin card there for 58. Then I added up some numbers at the side from that coin card. Not very tricky this one, I only needed two numbers to add up to my target so my answer for the second one was 22 because I used the 20 and I used the 2. Just as a, a wee side note, if you use for example 10 and 10 and 1 and 1, you're still going to get the same answer of 22, so it doesn't matter what combination of numbers you're using, you're still going to get the right target. So don't worry if you used a 10 and a 10 and a 2 for example, you're still going to get the same answer of 22. For the third one, we needed to make a coin card for 45, so there's the coin card there for 45. Lots of numbers needed to be added up at the side here, so I ended up using the 50, the 20, the 5, the 2 and the 1, which gave me my answer of 78. So hopefully you were able to get the same answers as are on the board right now. If not, it might be because you had that little error, a little error perhaps in your coin card or maybe adding it up. So just double check your work in if you did um, get any mistakes there. So the next level to this would be working through questions that have remainders. If you have managed to complete the last three successfully, I can recommend that you go on ahead to this remainder section. If you're a bit unsure about the first part of the video, maybe not go into remainders just yet, um, you can message me on Teams and I'll be able to maybe give you some more examples without remainders for you to work through first. But if you manage to get the first three correct, then we can fire on with some remainders questions. So, this example I'm going to have 770 divided by 32. Same way, we're going to do a coin card for 32 first of all. So if you want to pause the video here and do it yourself, you can do. If not, there the answers are on the board just now. So you can double check that you got them correct. Similar, I'm just going to try and make that target of 770. So I'm going to add up um, 640, add 64 add on 32, add on 32 and I get to 768 which is close to my target number but it's not quite bang on. If I add on another 32 which is my smallest option there, I'm not, I'm going to be over my target number which, which I can't have, I've got to be under the target number of 770. So that means that that's going to have to just be the first part of my answer. 
Okay. What I then have to think about is what's the difference between 778 and 768? So the difference is 2. So that difference becomes my remainder. So just as before, I look back to my coin card at the wee dots or stars or things that I've circled at the side to get the first part of my answer, which is 24. And then that remainder of 2, the difference between the target number and the number that I made, goes on at the end. So the answer for this is 24 remainder 2. That was very fast, so please re-watch this or practice that yourself before going on to these examples. I've got two examples for you there with remainders. So pause the video here, have a wee think, take your time working through um, and we'll get um, the answers in a wee second. Awesome. So, first one, we have to make a coin card for 18, so hopefully you managed to do that successfully. The coin card's there on the board for you to check. I keep saying board, but you're probably not got a board at home, it's probably an iPad screen, but you know what I mean. So, check the answers there. So my target number was 1160, so I'm going to try and get as close to that as possible without going over. So I added up 900, 180 and 90. Um, which I realised was too high, that was that was um, 1,070. So I have to sort of take away that big number of 90 because it just took me too high over my target number. So then I added on 36 and then another 36, which got me closer to my target number without going over. So I got 1,152. So just like me, if you, if you went too high, just rub out the last wee bit that you added on um, and try a smaller number, that's absolutely fine, a bit of trial and error sometimes. So, I've now got the number 1152, I need to work out what the difference is between that number and 1160. So I realise that my the remainder is going to be 8. Counting up the wee dots that I've used at the side, I use the 50, the 10 and two twos. So adding those all together, I get 64 and then remainder 8 from earlier. Last example there, I needed to make a coin card for 26. So there's a coin card there for 26 on the screen. Trying to make that target number of 872. So I added up the 520, 260, I could add on another 52 and then added on another 26 and that got me close to my target number without going over. It does seem like it is a wee bit far away, but if I add on 26, that's going to take me too far over that number, so I can't go any higher. So again, just work out what the difference between the number you got and the target number was. So the difference in this one was 14, so 14 is going to be my remainders. Have a wee look at the dots of the stars up the side of the coin card. So I use 20, 10, 2 and 1. So add those all up and I get 33 remainder 14. That can be very tricky, um, boys and girls, because, it, like I said earlier, if you make a mistake in your coin card, it can then lead to mistakes later on. So my top tip for you would be to take time on the coin cards first of all. Maybe ask mum, dad, an older brother, uh, brother or sister to double check it for you. You could even check it with a calculator first of all, and then go on to the next part. Because I would hate for you to do the coin cards wrong and then the rest of it gets wrong, because then you'll just get frustrated. So please, that would be my top tip for you today. Well done. Let me know on Teams how you got on and I can give you more challenges, more examples if you want. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.